everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this video is the english version of my video system design for front-end developers if you are a front-end developer and you are go going to google or check youtube for the system design for front-end developer you will end up with the content which is not related to front-end it would be more related to back-end where they would be discussing creating a twitter system or netflix or youtube and they would be talking about databases uh, different backend technologies. However, nowadays system design is also getting asked during the interviews to front end developers. And if we will just keep aside this interview thing, as, uh, interview thing, then the system design is also a very important skill that every developer from junior to senior to architect should learn. Why? The reason is whenever you will get a task or a feature in your company or even you are working on a side project in that it is expected that you should be able to design the solution from start to end and as a front-end developer so i'm not talking about the back end i am only talking about as a front-end developer if a given if a problem is given to you how you are gonna solve that how you are gonna design that problem now in system design you will be getting different kind of problems the first problem is in front of your screen you might get a page like this and the request would be as a front-end developer how you are going to design this or you will end up with a small problems like how you are going to design login registration as a front-end developer or how you are going to uh, do a language change or how you are going to you know do a notification system so as a front-end developer you can get a very high level problem or you can get a very specific questions and you should be able to handle such questions now in today's video, I'm gonna start with the one problem which is in front of us, that this is a web page given to you, how you are gonna do a system design of this. Now, whenever an interviewer is gonna ask you, the interviewer is really gonna get into the details that what is the problem statement. Most of the time you will get only one or two liners of the problem. So here your problem you will get as a front-end developer, design the system of this web page and it is expected from you that on this one liner you should be able to ask question identify what are the things which are missing and do end to end uh, design of this so this is what is expected from you and if you will see this is not a tricky question the reason is in our day-to-day -day work also we just get requirements like this that just design this web page and we developers need to ask to ask more or get more information out of it and try to design the solution based on our best knowledge technical knowledge and based on the uh, answers we are getting okay so this is not a tricky question this is how it is you will get a web page you will get one or two liner of requirement and then you have to start okay and another thing is there is a time constraint what it means that you will be getting 60 minutes in that 60 minutes five minutes will go in interaction and the rest of the time is with you but last five minutes again uh, there would be last five minutes for q a q a means if you want to ask any question or about the role about the company so 10 minutes will go just in intro and q a so you are left with 15 50 minutes and in that 50 minutes you have to do the whole uh, design so always be very careful about the time right now I'm doing this video so I'm not looking at the time but I will keep you uh, you know I will let you know that how you have to also manage your time okay so now you got this problem you understood the time constraint also now how you are gonna start the first mistake which every developer does is they try to jump directly on the solution that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know uh, take a react or angular or a swelt or view and on that i will create these components no never ever start with solution always start with asking the question so you have to take a pause and look at the problem which is in front of you and then start asking question now here the problems uh, here the difference start actually difference between the front end uh, system design and the back end system design as a front end system design uh, as a front end system design uh, sorry as a front end who is designing the system the first thing come is that which all devices we are safe supporting 
so is it just for desktop because right now the design in front of me is only desktop so are we gonna uh, support mobile uh, ipads uh, uh, is it gonna be responsive what it is gonna be so we need to ask about this so it is mobile desktop tabs or just desktop okay then the second thing is browsers browsers and os that which browsers are we supporting our operating system or uh, what you can do is you can say that uh, i'm taking this assumption that we will be supporting all modern browsers okay then the third thing is that accessibility here you are not asking them you are telling them that the accessibility would be there if it is gonna be a government website gov then we will have triple a if it is gonna be any any non-government we will be supporting double a then you will talk about the performance you will ask them that is there any data or metrics available or any target uh, available for the performance that we have to meet if they have the past data or metrics that would be great if not then do not all put something in front of them that this is the number that this is the mill uh, seconds uh, five second load or 30 second load we are gonna do no because you you haven't even went into the detail then how you can even give the performance data so what you can say is uh, yes it would be as fast as possible we will be uh, we will be having the best practices but once the solution is ready then we will see uh, then we will come with the our metrics okay and then you will be asked telling about the security uh, though right now we don't we we don't know but this, you have to add that security is also we are gonna take care of so these are the few things which we need to talk to uh, talk and gl get clarification from the interviewer that which devices which browsers what about the accessibility what about the performance what about the security so that you will get the clarity that how it is gonna be next thing is seo that are we supporting seo are we looking for the seo or we are not if yes then is it gonna be the whole website should be seo friendly or just few pages we are looking for seo one so that is also you're gonna ask that seo is supported there or not so these are the top uh, six things you should always ask whenever as a front-end developer you get any problem that devices browser accessibility performance security seo these are the things which you should always consider now once you have this scope ready with you now this next step would be you need to ask that where you want me to focus the reason is you can do high level design you can go in depth basically low level design you can talk about any of the feature like login registration subscribe to newsletter ads anything but it would be best that you can ask your interviewer where you want me to go how you want me to go so what based on your interview answer you can uh, proceed but right now i would say that uh, i want uh, you need to first design the overall uh, high level design and then we will see that how we are gonna move ahead so now let's move ahead so now once we have this scope now let's move ahead now we will come to this design page and we will see that we have few features like login registration ENFRIT I don't know what it is it is a currency change it is a language change I have no idea links I don't know these are internal or external because if they are gonna be external then there's not not much work is there but if it is gonna be internal then I have to as a front-end developer I have to you know think that how we can have the internal uh, routing if we are gonna have a single page application then we have some content here then we have project section I can see that there is a grid and there's a more button same thing what will happen when we are gonna click on more it is gonna go going to be on a new page or the more results will come here and from where these results will come then we have subscribe to newsletter and then we have ads so these these are the overall features I can see now the next step is you need to start asking question like when I was just explaining you I was saying that this ENFRIT what it is this this is a currency change this is a language change what it is i cannot assume so i will start asking these questions so then i will start writing it down so the first thing is login registration so i will ask that it is gonna be uh, i have to implement it 
or are we gonna use a third party uh, AP, uh, third party service so based on the interviewer uh, response that approach you have to take so in this example we will assume we are taking this assumption there is a team in the company who will work on it okay then the next is what is this ENFRIT so basically this is a language change perfect what about these links these links are internal perfect fourth this feature content this content heading image content from where it will come it is it gonna come from the back end or the front end so the answer is feature content would be in the front end only perfect then we have projects again the same thing would this be hard coded in our front end or will it be coming from the back end so the answer is it will come from the back end then subscribe to newsletter same question what we asked for login registration that what will happen to it from are we going to design it or someone else is gonna give it so the answer is there is a team in the company who will work on it perfect the last one is ads so again the same thing from where these ads will come so the answer is it is gonna be a third party okay uh, uh, sorry let's do one thing subscribe to newsletter just make it a third party so subscribe to newsletter will come from the third party and ads will come uh, internal team from an internal team okay so now if you will see we have uh, another scope ready so this is our uh, I, uh, I kind of a non-functional requirements and these are the functional scope that these are all the features you have break down and you have asked the interviewer that how all these things are gonna be because the moment you know that you don't need to work on login registration as some other team is gonna work on it then your scope of work has been reduced same with the links because now these are the internal links now we have to come up with a solution if we are gonna uh, use something like react router or something then that we need to mention okay so now we have two requirements very clear with us when another important thing is never ever jump into sharing that this is the particular framework or library we are gonna use as a good uh, front-end developer or architect you do not get biased with the technologies or with the frameworks library first you look at the problem you come up with the solution and then you see that which one is fitting which particular library framework or the technology is fitting into that solution part and then you do if you will see so far i haven't even talked about that i'm gonna use react.js or angular or anything else i spoke only once that if these links are gonna be internal and we will end up deciding to create a single page application then i have to think about the react router but I haven't decided anything yet because my requirements were not closed. So now my requirements has been closed. Now what I will do is I will take a next step where I will be going into the detail that how I will start doing these problems. Okay. Now before I go there, some time check. If you will see five minutes intro, five minutes Q and A, and then based on the develop uh, interviewer that how much time that person will take to explain you the problem. So that time will go, and then you have these kind of uh, requirement closer closure or the scope closure you have to do so what you have to do is you have to be as quick as uh, as you can so i would say 10 minutes you can do for the problem plus scope closure and the rest 40 minutes are with you to close and to end the design okay and in this 40 minutes, you will be having back and forth question from your interviewer also. So time is a very important thing in system design rounds because you can't sit on the one problem for whole 40 minutes. You have to finish everything end to end. Okay. So this was the first video which I created. Um, in the second video, what we are going to do is we are going to get into the details of uh, how you will proceed once you have the scope close and then we will go into the low level design also i hope this video was helpful for you let me know in the comments thank you for watching